course, skill testing is a way of ensuring that when you leave this class and you get college credit, that you can do the basics, the fundamentals really, really well. They're not individually difficult, but you should be able to do them at a high level of competency if you're going to be a college credit receiving musician. So when we get into our Zoom meeting together, I'm going to confirm that you're in tune. And if you're not, then I'll have you tune right then. If you don't know how to tune your instrument, you'll never sound good. So that's obvious right there. We'll be checking that you're holding it correctly and that you're playing the uke correctly. And that means mechanically correctly. That means that your left hand is shaped correctly and your right hand is in the correct place and strumming properly. And then we'll check for two very specific things. I will grab your orange flashcards, well, copies of the ones you have, and put them down and say, what's that note? And you'll say F, and then you'll play it. And I'll say, what's this note? And you'll say G, and I say, find it on the fourth string. And you'll just play them. And then finally, I will make you play the F, C, and G chord. Just a few measures of each in time. So you'll strum, and I'll say, play me a finger or thumb strum, and go C, and go to F, and go to G, and go back to C. Something like that that shows me that you can fluently get between the three most core basic chords and keep a steady beat. And that's it there. If you want to test yourself, you have your orange flashcards, but there's also this part of your binder. It's in the brown part right there. And it's actually the test in a way. You just go through and say, can I play these? There's 11 notes right here. I'd expect you'd need to get 10 or 11 of them correct to show, you know, good fluency there. And, um, yeah. Then if you want to talk about, like, what's on the theory part, then I think this would be it right there. There's going to be some Canvas quizzes that are dedicated to this. You have to get them done the final weekend before finals. And the first one is your ability to read notes in the treble clef and correlate them with the staff and keyboard and fretboard. So if you remember in your packet, and you know, I designed these packets so that you'd be able to, you know, be trained properly. But this in the light yellow section, there's these um, quizzes that coordinate and corroborate things. So this note is given on the keyboard right there and you say, ah, oh, it's an F. You find it on the fretboard right there, and you write it on the staff, and of course you label it. So expect quizzes that chop these things up and say, can you find this note here or that note there, or what is that note called between these three areas? I would say that uh, things that people make the biggest mistakes on here is um, they name the wrong string, like this is a B, and it's there, but they get confused on whether they should play it there or play it there because of fourth string. Actually, I think on the final quiz it says, find me everywhere that I can play that in home position so you'd find both of them. Or they put it in the wrong octave. So let me see if I can give you an example of that. Hmm. Here, this right here is a C and it's played right there. But sometimes people will see that and they'll go, aha, and they'll write it right there as a middle C or they'll write middle C here, play it there, but then write it up an octave so they get those confused. Make sure that you are putting everything in relation to middle C. And you can practice these. You have them all, you have correct copies of them, and so you should be good to go. Spelling triads. Um, it's gonna be a bunch of triads on there saying, either spell them or is this the correct spelling for them? You have all this stuff right here that you've practiced. And at the beginning or the end of every section, there is a summary that says, here's how you go about doing it. And sometimes it even says, if you're having a problem with something, then you need to study this specific part of it, right? So here at the end, it says the complete diagnostic. How do you spell your triads? And if you're having a problem here, it's probably this or this or this, and you need to study these things. So those are there for you, so you don't need to panic, you can train. All right. Spelling major scales, well, you know, we had 
all these major scale things right here. Um, I'm not gonna make you ride them out on the final, on, on the core testing. What happens is, is I put a bunch of scales, pictures of them, and say, which one is this one? Which one is that one? Which one is that one? And there's a correct one, and then there's one that have typical mistakes that students make um, if they're gonna make an error when they spell them. So, you know, you can go through your flashcards, you can go through these and check them out again. And at the end of all of this, there is another, you know, how do we shift? How do we spell basic scales? It's all there as a reference for you. And of course there's videos and things too. Um, counting basic rhythms, um, a simple meter, like your counting worksheets right here. Okay. Um, what can I say about these? Again, it's gonna come in a format where there's going to be pictures of rhythms and multiple choices for what the counting should look like there. And they'll have mistakes on them. Um, typically, maybe they didn't put brackets in the right place. Maybe they've got things flipped. I'm gonna show you places where students usually make mistakes on counting. The dotted, rhythm right here with the eighth note, they go like one and two, right? Or if it's reversed, they go like three, four, and, like that, or and four or something. They get the dotted notes mixed up, so you might want to review that. Also, this kind of syncopated thing right here where they go like one and, parentheses, two and. So you're either mixing up what you parentheses and when you don't write the ands, or you're getting these dotted rhythms the counting mixed up on that okay all right and that's it those are due i think the last sunday before finals and you actually get two chances at it but they have to be done well and they are closed book right if for some reason at the end you can't do them at standard then we'll you know we'll get in a zoom chat together and we'll figure out what's going on that's wrong and give you a path towards victory on that but i want you to know that when you leave the class that you got the, the basics down pat and you're you're good at them and they're useful. All right? That's it.